Here party people, man. What's going on with you, man? We call it PST, the Blake Dame. I'm Big Von. We can talk about all the things that went around the weekend that's going on in the news right now. And some things you talk about when you go over to the water cooler. You know what I mean? Shot down people just stepped in. Baseball chick was heading. Dynamo was popping. Got saved up to Marshawn, naturally. Wu Tang Survivor. That's a good one. Love Von, what's up? Hey man, most pull up, we're gonna talk about your man Gunner, who's probably never coming home. That's crazy. We gotta talk about the one only Benzino been detained. Detained, I meant to say that. And what's up, Black Beauty? And uh they said monkey pox is coming out right now. Let me put y'all up on the monkey pox. Not like I had it. Don't start that rumor. This is when you start getting sweat boils and warts on your hands. This shit is it's a different type of shit. So this, this ain't no got to hide out, maybe catch it a couple of days later. This is some type of shit that, you know, we might be hanging out drinking. You might hand somebody a cup. They might have a couple boils on their hands and be like, nigga, you got the monkey pox? It could be bad. The world is going up in smoke. Cold with most of stepped in the boy. Hey. What's up, killer? You know, for years I've been asking what happened to chicken pox. Right. No, chicken pox still around every once in a while. Nigga, I ain't heard nobody getting chicken pox in years. You ain't got you don't got no kids, nigga. I ain't heard nobody say their kids got it since but I was a kid. Nah, chicken pox is around. Some people get it. You still get the shots though. Like, you know, niggas don't want to get them not monkey bites. Somebody said monkey bites. No, nigga. Monkey pox. <laughs> Who giving out monkey bites? Remember monkey bites? <laughs> Who's on the committee to name these things? Who comes up with the names of it? Yeah, like who's on that committee? The monkey pox committee? Hey, Oli. All that shit. Swine flu, monkey pox. I don't, I, I, that's something I've never looked up into. I, I looked like up hurricanes did. and shit like that before and planets, but that's people true. that get the name flus and shit, mm, I've looked like into it. You, you'll be an excellent namer. No. <laughs> That's a fucked up job. <laughs> like, we're going to call these uh, penis sacks. There's a bad case of penis sacks going around here. People breaking out. You no, know what really make it fucked up is? What's that? You got to know that this shit about to hit without telling nobody. Like, you part of the, like, the Summer Jam Committee of Diseases. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Friday, three o'clock. Find out about the new disease about to drop. <laughs> it's not like these niggas is making up that day. Like clearly, they knew this shit was coming. You know what I'm saying? You think they talk about like diseases like we talk about rap? Mm -hmm. Like y'all ain't gonna believe it's about to hit in a couple of months. <laughs> oh, nigga, remember that swine flu though? <laughs> Woo! That swine flu was hidden. Oh man. Do you remember that Ebola though? That Ebola had it moving. Yeah, remember I named that shit? Remember, remember he named Ebola? Yeah, like. What I'm Somebody walk in. Know. Yo, who's that? Oh, that's him. He's the one that came up with the monkeypox name. <gasps> I gotta beat him. That's what I'm saying. I wanna interview them people. I don't. Nigga like, might have fucked up eyes on him. Did the monkey do it or pass it along? Like. What made them come up with chicken pot? Was the name of the kid yelling chicken at me or something? Like what, what stop. Just just stop. Just stop. I was about to hit you off with a like a wild ass story that wasn't real. Even I stopped myself. <laughs> like a young nigga was playing in the yard and got bit by a chicken and he started scratching ever since then it went wild. And his name was Pox. That's what I'm saying. No, Who came nigga, that's not. Was your fucking child watching Player of the Apes last night? No. <laughs> you just said, fuck it, call it monkey. <laughs> I just like to hate the pictures that they keep posting of these boils on these hands and shit like that. I'm like, all right, nigga, I was okay with that. You know, I had to adjust myself to saying, okay, I might get COVID one day, but nope. Do you think, do you think they edit those like they do album artworks? <laughs> <laughs> I'm really asking, like, the shit that they like, all right, it's going out to, to the blogs tonight. No. <laughs> they edit the shit. No, nigga. They don't put filters on the monkey, monkey pox and the medical diseases. 
So you think them diseases is raw photos, no filters or anything? You ever Googled shit like that before? You never thought of a disease and just typed it in and looked? Yeah, I think they get edited a little bit. Nah, B. What's, your, what's nah. the first thing your doctor say when you think you sick? Stay on Google, right? Doc, no. Doctors tell you to stay on Google every day, bro. I don't know. I've never had that problem. I never, I'm, I'm not one of those. I feel sick. Let me, I Google it, but I look for remedies. Like, uh, <laughs> what exactly? I look for remedies, though. Like, should I, like, can you mix Night Quell with this and drink Bro. both of those at the same time? If somebody says no, then I say, okay. I'm not looking for uh, my heart breathing. I feel my hair growing. <gasps> oh, you got monkey Bro, pops. Google. Google will think you have you fucking setting your wheel up for tonight. Bro. That's why doctors <laughs> say stay on Google, bro. They ask you like who diagnosed you, Google? And that's when people come like, oh, I thought it was more than that. You know what I'm saying? You know what my shit is? I want to know who are the people that took the picture. Whose hands? Like you might know a nigga tat on his hand and be like, oh, that's Charlie. Oh, uh, this yeah, nigga yeah, got yeah. the monkey pox. It might be a uh, disease models. I know you've seen Roxanne. Roxanne a nurse. She be in there seeing people come in with some shit. See, she might know the disease models. The disease. You know they got hand models, feet. Models. I hate you. I hate you. You don't think they have somebody who volunteers to be like? No, us... you don't. And the disease models Wait, is real models. What's the lady? The lady who said she a nurse. She ain't never took no picture. What, she ain't never. What, 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 she ain't never been like a first time disease person. And you don't want to be that. What person let you go in that motherfucker thinking they die and they be like, hey, get your flicks off, that? <laughs> nobody. <laughs> no. If you come in with some bumps on your hands and nobody's seen before, and they go, we don't know what you got. You can't just leave. They got to take pictures to send the other doctor. <laughs> Put me on the IV, nigga. I am dying. I don't give a fuck about what angle you catch it. No, B, put your hands up. Let me see it. Oh, no. You trying to get your pose up like you got a wedding ring or some shit? That should be hard. There's a whole committee. Who naming them? Who go take the picture? Who editing the picture? The doctors and the nurses taking the picture. So who edited it? Who you think did Nobody the edit. You got to leave. You can't edit some shit because that'll fuck up with the diagnosis. Yeah, here. You're it sick. makes it a little redder. Make it, make it a little redder. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> 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 Niggas do be editing the disease photos. That's fucked up. <laughs> I've never thought about that shit before ever in my life. Like, did someone put a filter on the disease photo? Man, I'm trying to tell you. All right, but if y'all don't believe me, I, I believe y'all. This is just my thought. But there's no disease models, not died. Like, you know, call call Brad. He'll come in here, he'll take the picture. I had a homeboy named Mikey, good-looking Latin dude. He was trying to be in modeling. He became the model for a, a AIDS poster that went around the city across country. Oh, God. That's the big false advertisement. Did he <laughs> but, I think he did. But it was like him in front of his car, like, you can live well with AIDS. And I was like, Mikey, um, dog, it's giving the wrong impression. <laughs> he was like, Wait, nah. did he have AIDS? No. Oh, that would be a crazy day, wouldn't it? Like, <laughs> fucking walk through Central Park and the bus drive by. And that girl got to see that. And, like, and you got to, can you imagine spending the whole day trying to explain to her that you are a model? <laughs> you had dinner. The bus pull up. <laughs> you can live with AIDS. Your picture on the side of the bus. She just dropped her fork. <gasps> Oh baby, it was just it was just it was just a job. It was just a job. That'd be hard. I hit Mikey about that. That shit was hilarious. <laughs> that shit was hilarious. Anyway. Uh, disease models. I wonder. Nah, I'm not. Nope. Not falling for that one. So, in hip hop news, your guy Gunner has been denied a bond once again. Even though he tried to put up his parents' house and all that, they said they thought about it. They went back and said, Nope, you're named in this Rico case. You will be denied bond once again. But they gave him a trial date. Want to play high low with that when it's going to happen? Oh, I see the date. Nigga, like January yeah. 2023. That's fucked up, bro. That's fucked up. I'd be like, don't tell me. Um, yeah, that's fucked up, bro. What you was gonna say? 
I mean, you know, I see, I'm a defense nigga for these, for any black man in a rap game, anything. I think Gunner gonna be all right, though. I don't, I, don't, I don't think they got him for nothing. I think Gunner was just there. Like, he was just a, he was, he was the next biggest star on the label, because the nigga ain't. Did you see why they wouldn't let him out? Because they said he's a commander. And they said if he gets out, he can lead the witness tampering. <laughs> I mean, anybody can get out to lead a witness. <laughs> no, nigga. <laughs> if you a low level nigga on on the team, they're not really worried about you. Hey, Motel, well, come here. They only report in the, the two stars of the label. Only two stars on the label. Nigga, that's all we need to know. We don't need to know nobody else. I don't. I don't. I don't. I would personally like to say I don't think Gunner was a commander. Okay, you know what I read in the legal documents? They were like, they wonder what Dane thinks. <laughs> well, they should. <laughs> <laughs> they don't give I a don't, fuck. I don't think that. Is, I don't. I just can't see. I, I don't know. What you can't see? What you think? What you just? Uh, you don't, not like you not don't think he called no shots, no shit like not, that. Yeah, no, nah, I don't. Not trying to diss Gunner at all, but Gunner wasn't from the actual hood. Like he was like, he was almost put together. For the label, he wasn't like. I'm trying to give the man his flowers without saying he was really a squick. He wasn't. <laughs> he, he wasn't. Trust me, cause I, I just said if you a gangster, gonna give you a call. <laughs> Nigga, what you call and say do that? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, but Dave, put it like this: he was. If even if he's not a gangster, he was in the car while the crime was being committed. Nah, I don't think that. I don't think that. Why, you don't, why, what you mean? Like, what you mean? You, if you were around, never mind. I don't know why I gotta keep telling you it was like you're 12. Like, nigga, he was there. Yeah, Everyone was, was there going the, down. He was there for the concerts and the studio sessions. You are right. I don't think <laughs> okay. he was there for the crowd. Okay. <laughs> I say, if shit went down and if he was like, which anything you're saying, he was, what the fuck? What the <laughs> fuck is going on? <laughs> Y'all did what? Oh, no. Oh wow! This just hit me. So if he's anything what you're saying, he's gonna uh, he's gonna tell. Uh, I don't think he has nothing to tell. I think he's there. <laughs> Every nigga was sitting around while some shit was going on, and they had an opportunity to tell. Oh shit! Motown just came in house. <laughs> Motown. Motown. What's up, oh, man? Oh, oh. I say I, I hear you talking about indictments. I, I really didn't bring you in for that. I was going. I wanted you to talk about everybody. verses, but I, I, we gonna start off with indictment. Uh, what's what it look like? I was looking bad. You talk about the Rico uh, case. You out there in Atlanta? Every, everybody from Atlanta think they got the inside trade talking. <laughs> I mean, here's here's now nah, here's the thing. Um, you don't hear you don't hear talk about the inside trade because you know. But I'm just saying, me personally, I don't think I ever seen. Have y'all seen ever seen anybody any organization beat Rico? Yeah, no white boys. No, uh, they, have no, no. they have not. They have not. I'm talking that, that biker Rico. gang. No, the biker gang. So they went. And, yo, like, Rico's yeah, batting yeah. average is ninety nine point nine. No, listen, Dang, y'all read me. Well, listen now, listen. Remember the biker gang. Hell's Angels. There was like a thousand of the motherfuckers that went to no, jail. No, I'm talking about the, the one that's on the internet when nobody snitched. They all came home. Who? Are like oh, you talking about Sons of Anarchy? No, the hell. This nigga definitely talking about some movie shit because I don't know what he's talking about. It, Damn. And, and, yep, DJ Drama beat his. Y'all right. DJ that Drama nigga didn't do his. nothing. They tried to get them niggas. Him they didn't do anything. Nah, that nigga didn't do anything. Nigga, that was that in the nigga. room, hands like this. <laughs> My nigga, they didn't do anything. Like, yeah. we know them niggas. Everybody know you. What if they were doing was not illegal. They said that they, they said that anybody beat it. They beat this. No, you, you, yo, they put try to put a Rico on some CDs and some mixtapes. They did. Uh, uh, no, I don't know. And, no, no. And it's it's not a federal case. It's a state case. So. They might have, they, so, got, they got fights. Man, the state, but you got to remember, this state ain't California, nigga. This is, <laughs> this is, this is the South. You know what I'm saying? If the, this, 
You'd rather probably take fed like fed Rico charges the state. Oh yeah, they say Gotti be his or Gotti be his. I mean, it, it ended the label, but they. Beat <laughs> him and his brother beat their shit. Yeah, but it wasn't like murder and like it was. It was like. <laughs> Nigga, he, they said he was the money. They was funneling the money for the other nigga. What you talking about? Supreme. Nah. This is that's different, bro. That that was like uh, that wasn't conspiracy though. Like, okay, you do you think you think from what you just think you think they gonna beat this shit? I want them to beat it. I don't want no black. That's not what we out. asked you. We asked you. You think they gonna beat it? Yeah, I got faith. Lucy coming home and YSL. Oh, home. so you think both of them? Are, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they record labels. They not they record labels. They not gay. They not gay. <laughs> this <laughs> nigga's crazy. <laughs> both of them gonna beat it on both sides. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, no. Hey, listen, man. No, they not. They not. Gangs, they rap labels. But go ahead, though. What about verses? I, you I, you, I, I you keep not. preaching that, buddy. We don't believe it, but it's like, cool. For real, for real, they gonna they gonna make an example out of like they gonna make they gonna make an example out of them cats, man. But nigga, you making money, man. At some point, you gonna have to leave the streets alone. You can't have one foot in and one foot out. I don't know. T- I don't know what nobody talking about. I think those dudes been left the streets alone. They was running a rap label. So when y'all Lil Wayne, y'all when, y'all when Lil y'all Wayne bus, <laughs> when Lil Wayne bus got shot up and all that, that was already done. That was already <laughs> yo, this done. Yo, he don't, he want to forget all the shit that went through. Like niggas say, like we don't remember this shit. And they like street shit. It was on CNN. <laughs> that, that, listen. That person responsible for Lil Wayne served his time and has came home. He's, no, that nigga's part of the hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> That nigga just stopped going with this one. Listen. <laughs> this nigga is saying, he's, he's going again. <laughs> Goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga's back on the paperwork, man. What are you Listen. talking about? Y'all would never give me on tape saying anything incriminating about anybody, bro. We are live on tape. Wait, how are you incriminating shit that's out there already? That you're not incriminating. Y'all think they use y'all think they use um rap lyrics. They use some IG lives and interviews too. And I'm on record saying everybody is innocent. Hey man, I'm also one of the people I don't agree with that whole you shouldn't be able to use like rap lyrics. I feel like Nigga, if you did some dumb shit, like if you doing crime, why the fuck are you rapping about it? <laughs> you tell it on yourself. All right, so let me ask you a question. Do you respect the person who may be rapping about it or the nigga who not, who, who not living and they lying about it? Neither. Yeah, man, like, nigga, if you just telling the story, you like, at the beginning of my rhymes, like, this is the depiction. This ain't the reality. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, Give him a disclaimer, right? Like, like, I don't. But if you doing that shit, you dumb as hell to be rapping about it. Like, nigga, I shot eight niggas last night. Really? You know <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not how they do it. That's not how they do it. They be like, eight niggas got shot at the Linux. We got yeah. out and we spent it. He was in a blue Lincoln. He'd be like, wait a minute, this nigga just gave up the whole crime in the run. Damn. So you think it's cool, like, to rap about it and not be able to use your lyrics? I don't think they should use lyrics. Actors don't get to use their movies when they fuck up. Actors ain't doing shit. Actors don't write the movie, Dave. Actors are doing shit. Actors don't write the movie. But they take on the role. A lot of rappers don't write the rhymes. You, you, you in a, nah, you in a real, I, I'll you give you that. You I'll give you that. Nigga. You like David Kenner or somebody, man. You like hey, he, man, you this, Johnny Cochran. This old bus stop lawyer. Ain't nobody fuck with this nigga. What you talking about? Niggas don't write the rhyme. So I'm going to recite the rhyme of a nigga that's in my crew about the crime uh, that just went down. You got to be smart. Bro, just making that up shit, shit bro. Listen, bro, you ain't never heard the young, you ain't never heard the young thug verse talk about how we hit a, a nigga ran on me at the Linux. 
We hit him in the Texas and all the shit. He told he was, talk, he was just talking, he was just talking, bro. All them niggas free free uh free the man, they was running the rap label, man. I'm not saying them folks is in no game. Y'all ain't getting me on record talking about them niggas was a criminal organization. You know, but that man, shit is just your opinion. When I when I met Young Thug, he was he's a rapper. I don't know him for no street shit. That's it. Same way when I met Motown. I see him in videos crib walking, but I don't know if he a crib. <laughs> Man, I'm a... He sees new addition. He's a good guy. Yeah. I don't know what y'all Yeah, like, nigga, if I did some bullshit, you wouldn't see me rapping about it. <laughs> you know what else? Niggas that, been through, bullshit, niggas that been through bullshit, niggas that niggas that been through bullshit like this, don't know nothing good comes from this. <laughs> like, until, you, until you've been rounded up before, for some shit, you for just being affiliated, then you yeah. understand, like, yeah, this is not a winning fight. This is a lot of you. Generation now. I'd be like level. that. I'd be I'd be like that dude. Uh what was the Muslim dude on the wire that was taking niggas out? That was, that's the type of nigga I'd be. They'd be like, this nigga, Motel ain't doing none of that shit. This nigga on the corner. He's, he, he's slanging the final call. I mean the final call. This nigga ain't doing nothing. <laughs> Man, Shout the vegan mob. <laughs> you would never know. I'm definitely Listen, sure all I'm saying is, I, I'm not the judge or the court, so I'm not. I'm not saying if the niggas was a gang. I don't know them for being gang. I know them for doing. I seen invoices for rap shit. That's what I know them niggas from. That's cool. Yeah. Hey, hey what's that river in uh, Egypt? <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Listen, the real, the real, the real, denial, the real, denial, the real, the real river, denial. Hey, yo, if niggas had got picked up for some shooting or some shit, bank robbery, anything else, when you hear, uh, we picking these niggas up on Rico, you like Rico? They would go with the mafia to get the Rico. They could be Here's wrong. The, thing. Though. Here's the, the thing, government isn't always right. Here's the thing: when they say they getting off. Exactly who is they? Do I think Gunner might not do it like a lot of time? Somebody going, somebody doing some time. You know why? Because all the Rico do is come sweep, pick up everybody. Somebody gonna do some telling. Oh, off top. Somebody gonna do some telling. Off if, top. You the, if you take the big, if you get the big dogs, you know what I'm saying. You know a lot of the funds is gonna be used to like make sure the big dogs is okay. So now when the little dogs is making them calls and they see the big dogs go to court, you got a public defender and this nigga got the top attorney and niggas in jail like, hey, dog, them niggas, you better fend for yourself, man. Niggas ain't taking your call. They ain't doing nothing. You better look out for self, my nigga. They looking out for self. You sitting in that bitch and they throwing 100 years at you. And they like, man, they ain't in the, 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 this nigga looking at five years. You like, hold on, man. Something ain't right. And we all get that one picture thing like this. <laughs> hey, listen, I just it I was him. I, I just hope everybody stand on what they're supposed to stand on and, and show these folks that they are regulated. Thank you. Past that point, dog. When they come get you, they know you ain't no label. Hey, what's the, what's the longest you ever done something? Who me? Yeah, like school. What's the longest thing you ever done? School, I did 16 years. How long was that? that how long How long did that feel? It felt like a long time, but it was really just 16 years. When a nigga said, we about to give you 75 <laughs> for hanging out with these niggas. I don't know nothing. Cool. We'll give you 75 for not knowing nothing. A lot of shit start coming to your brain. You be like, Him? Oh, that verse was true. This verse was true. Nigga be like, I walk into the studio. It was right over here. Telling you. And niggas be thinking they see the, the shit with niggas and telling is niggas think they giving you information where they outsmarting the people. We're like, they not really snitching. They be like, nah, I was over there on at the liquor store on third, and that's where we was at. And you like, I ain't telling. And they was like, Oh, that's all that's the missing piece of the puzzle. That we need. You know what I'm we glad that you said that, my nigga, because we was wondering how the fuck y'all got over here. Y'all was on fire. Oh, okay, cool. That's it. 
And this shit got recordings of tapes and shit of where they were, where they were standing, what they paid. They got taped of microphone, I mean, phone calls and shit. It's Rap City. Oh, yeah, like I said, man, you know, uh, free them all, dog. This why I think this is this is I think I think it's something like it's it, it's an underlying thing nobody paying attention to. It's also like we going through an election, a serious ass election. Even though it ain't the presidential election, it's kind of like trying to swing back to the red state. You know what I mean? They trying to swing back to us who've been just always been red. So they it's shit political. This shit fucked up. The bad part is they probably they got away with whatever they did or if they didn't do it for a long time. But I think when when Buddy uh, shot that when when Buddy uh, from over there shot them police and then they gave him bond. Not over oh, there. Man. I said over there. I didn't say with him. I said over there. I'm like, yeah, we don't know none of that, man. I didn't say that organization. I said over there. But it's not like. Nigga didn't shoot the police and was yelling YSL when he was shooting the police. It's on tape. Like, this nigga was YSL like, YSL is a clothing line as well. But I'm just saying, when he I'm went to jail, the line as I'm well, saying, when he, went to, when he went to jail for shooting a police officer and then they gave the nigga bond, it was like, the police was basically like, we not, we finna get the blue flu again. Like, we not finna even do the streets because we not being protected. So Fonny was, had to, she had to be like, you know what? It's too much of this shit. Like niggas dying and they shooting the police and getting donned it. We gotta get everybody. So I don't. I'm not saying they did it or not, but I'm just saying I was just the final straw. What's the feeling in your city right now? If y'all don't know, Motown's in Atlanta right now. Is they trying to take y'all back to the slaves? <laughs> trying to take us back to the slaves is just. Tomorrow's a big day. Did y'all niggas out there voting? What y'all niggas doing? It's like, it seems like they, they let y'all run free for like a long time. Tomorrow, they're like, oh no, this is the start of us taking our hey, shit dog, back. You niggas going back to the plantation. I'll be honest with you down here. Like, you got the people who are politically educated, and then you got others who, like, that shit ain't in the hookah. <laughs> <laughs> That shit, that shit ain't in a hookah or in a bottle. <laughs> if you set up a polling place at the strip club, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Unless you do it there. Like, so what is the now? Y'all went voted Democratic the first time and what it since whatever. Are you feeling positive about the way it's going now? The only way I feel positive about some of it is because like some of the republic the people that like. The Republican candidates are just some bumbling idiots like Herschel Walker. You know what I'm saying? It's like this nigga did. He did everything. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He did everything possible. Like, he done his wife, the nigga done he graduated in the top 1% of his class. And then university was like, this nigga didn't even graduate. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, anything you can say, anything, anything you could possibly do. To show you a bumbling fool, he's done. But motherfucker still be he still Hershel Walker to play football. You know we live in, like you live in a when you live in them like southern states. You know black people is niggas unless you play football. Then you you a black dude you play like for UGA or Alabama or something like like you know what I'm saying. You you a different kind of black dude because yeah. you play sports. But anybody else, y'all some niggas. You don't look too positive about what's going on down there. Vote. Cats <laughs> ain't motivated. Cats are you motivated. out there telling niggas to get up and vote? Is you going to each hookah spot and strip club? Come on, give me the microphone. <laughs> niggas, 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 we must we vote tomorrow. Hey dog, niggas out there talking about free thug in them. They ain't thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to sit you down. I just, I'm not, I, mine, no, I'm not the, the judge of the jury, so I don't, I can't say niggas is guilty. That just ain't me. Ain't guilty. I'm saying niggas is out there 
them picket signs. I don't, like, it, I don't put it in the atmosphere. I try to say that these niggas is coming home. That's my atmosphere. Oh no, I'm not saying they guilty. I'm just saying that when them people put that Rico on you, they come to get you. They 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 bringing back shit from 2014, 15. Oh no, during an election year, you niggas wearing they, stripes. Listen, Dame, I say this: <laughs> they go, they they gonna come home. <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> eventually they ain't coming home today. Mm mm. Mm mm. They, they, they gonna come home. I don't know when. It ain't gonna be today. It ain't gonna be till when? <laughs> At least January 9th of 2020. About that. About the 8th Avenger movie. <laughs> 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 That's when niggas coming home. <laughs> <laughs> ain't gonna be no bond. Well, if y'all out there in Atlanta, in a good town with Motown, don't forget tomorrow's a big voting uh, time. All you got to do is go, just stay here, nigga. Leave it at that, and then get ready to gear up yeah, to vote ain't, again. Yeah, she ain't. That, that's uh, that's the Stacey A. This is like the little preliminary stuff, so she ain't. She, yeah, she's up, but she that, automatically no get it, right? She gonna automatically, yeah. Nobody's, no no Democrat is, is running in the prelims against her. It's really you know, gonna, it'd be it's, one it's sucker be... that go there and fuck it up. And we'd be like, nigga, sit down. Why are you run stop? What are you doing? Niggas gonna do that. But it's either gonna be it's gonna be her or Kemp. But um like the dude that's running against Kemp, the nigga that Trump endorsed, he's he's horrible. <laughs> he's so like he's so bad that Trump came out the day was like in Georgia, don't even vote no more. Like them niggas is idiots out there. Like I'm like, damn, yeah, turned on your boy. Like, yeah, like damn. <laughs> damn. So I don't well, know. Hopefully, hopefully y'all get Kemp up out of there, man. That nigga's terrible. <laughs> He's horrible. But the reason why I brought Motown in here because Motown has been lobbying for this for a <laughs> year now. Yeah. And today they decided to give it to the world, maybe because of Motown. But I feel like they're being shorted for some no, reason. I, I, man, I promise you, that's my thing. I'm like, oh, I'll give what y'all talking about. Go ahead, introduce it. So they announcing this weekend the new versus is going to be a ball of MJG versus UGK, right? But. I don't think they're going to have it on the Instagram. They're doing it like Triller, like they did Cypress Hill and Onyx. And I don't, I didn't see the promotion go up crazy. This shit is like Sunday or some shit. Yeah, like, because Onyx came out the other day and said, nigga, we didn't even know he wasn't on IG Live. <laughs> <laughs> they was like, put some fire emojis in the chat. And this shit wasn't on Instagram. <laughs> and be real said, be real said, he, they felt, you know, Cyber said they felt slighted too. Like, you know, they wasn't given the respected version. So, Motown, how do y'all feel? Now? How do you feel? This is the one you've been wanting. This is your dream I, one. You've been talking about this the whole time. I personally feel like offended. And I, I told, I told the guys, I literally sent the text. This is funny because I sent the text this morning before they the whole, announced it on the live. I was like, man, Y'all shouldn't even do it no more, cause it shit disrespectful. I'm like, when they do Jake, when they do the New York ones, they be doing promo videos and shit, all kinds of shit. Like, I'm like, damn, y'all literally announced it today and it's Thursday. I have an amazing idea. What? The day of boycott it. Let them spend all the money and everything, and be like, nigga, if this ain't going to IG Live, we ain't coming out on stage. Put his money point, involved. But at, at this point, can you really oh, like? At this point, can you really? At this point, you can't really boycott it because if you boycott it, then the reason they feel like they can shortchange it because they probably feel like, oh man, it's not such and such. Not I'm just saying because it's, 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 it's not vibing in it's not vibing in New York. People ain't and we should stay with it. They should call in the South and the West. Hey y'all, these niggas ain't respecting us. We ain't, we ain't, they don't That's want us it. to see. Okay, wait, hold up, hold up. I got a I got a devil's advocate thing here. I'm gonna just throw it out there for a little bit, see if I'm wrong, but we all know the answer. If we you say they're not respecting us, but if we respected it enough, should we pay a ticket to go see them and pay them to the trailer so we can watch? Great counterpart from the corporate side of things. 
But, but we on the we on nigga time. <laughs> <laughs> Let the people see us, nigga. It don't hurt y'all. I we, think <laughs> it's on like for real. It's in Atlanta, so this shit go like my phone blew up. This shit gonna sell out, like. Um, but it, it's about the views, though. If they do that shit like they did the Cypress shit. I promise you, I would have walked out if I was. I'm like, nigga, I ain't doing that shit. Like y'all, if y'all do me, nigga, I didn't. I, I'm looking online for this. First of all, Cypress. I, I was. I was like, come on, y'all really put Cypress Hill against Onyx, Slam and what? That's it. There was Slam. That's it. Da, 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 da. But what else is Onyx performing? They just did a show. It was like show versus show. show. It wasn't like real competition. Yeah. What they did gave a dish. I only seen the highlights. I'm like, y'all. And it was yeah, before a fight. So they were pushing it more like a fight with this. They were like the opening act to the fight. So it, they, they got played a little bit. They thought it was going to be something big, and it didn't get a chance to. Now, with this one here, is this just UGK and 8-Ball MJG with no fight? Is this just a, is this just a concert? I mean, they're they going to do it on Versus. They're doing it. On, actually, it's on Versus. It's online on Versus. It's like it, how it used to be. Like it's, it's going to be on the phone. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I got some hard-hitting questions for you. Go for it. Because you're really you're you're on you're you're on eight ball MJG side. They they would I mean, be considered they would be considered the underdogs, right? Nah. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Me and Brian, you know, you DJ, we all DJ. What song do MJG got to go against? The international players in what, what, what in your perfect so opinion? so in a, so in the verses about one no time we just see 13 35 of these verses nigga. No, I'm just saying it's not about one song so you go it's like you got them songs win you I mean what you gonna put against that that's a W that's all I was asking so what do y'all put against Big Pimpin Fly is bigger than Big Pimpin. Life bigger than Big Pimpin. <laughs> Stay fly is bigger than Big Pimpin. Okay. Big Pimpin. It's big. <laughs> I don't even like that song. I ain't done the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I don't like Big Pimpin? Why would I like Big Pimpin? I don't Big like Pimpin? that song. It's just okay to you, but... I, 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 stay fly is bigger than big <laughs> okay. I mean, like international players, that's a de- now what you round about the Texas. All right, I'm that's a say, no. that's a listen. I'm just Pimp C got some Pimp C got some very acapella verses that once they drop the music, it's almost rap national anthem time. Name one besides what you just said. We could get bro, Big Pimpin, international player. Mr. Big is beating get throw by far. Okay. Shout out to UGK and uh and A G C Man, you tell me a bunch of men play. Your whole crew is from Memphis. Your whole crew is from Memphis. And you have to I got you. Get him Motown. <laughs> what is going on? Yeah, listen, listen, he listen, does listen. have a point, though. <laughs> hey, Your say, office headquarters is in Memphis. That was in Miami. Exactly in Miami. In Miami. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you might, yeah. you might want to roll with them. But he just hit my qu- I will ask Gotti this too, because he would know more MJG, A ball and MJG than me as well. So I would ask like. What do y'all play against them songs? That's what I was just keep, You just keep saying the two songs. I told you, stay fly against Big Pimpin'. Okay, uh, International right, Players is a W. I, I'm not even going to sit up here and be like, you play this against that. That's a W. Right, That's well, one what of what them rounds you just can see. What is a and MJG closing record? You can close with Don't Want Drama. You can close with Don't Make. You can close with Stay Fly. It's joints out there. Space Age Pimpin'. You can close with show enough. Are they gonna do the main? You can close with lay it down. I'm not going to tell you, but 
Oh, you helped they out will. with you helping on the playlist. <laughs> Don't say that. Don't say that. I'm just gonna put it like this: There's two things that need to happen. A, it has to be on the phone. If it's not on the phone or the it's IG, on the phone. it's, it's on gonna the phone. be that. Okay. Second of all, if and I understand that we on the West, and like UGK and motherfucker A Ball MJG is huge throughout that region. I know they run that legendary. I get it. But y'all have to do it like we did our verses and make it a learning curve. Oh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> no, nah, you saying yeah, 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 but they're not going to do that shit. Niggas going to play some drill. Niggas going to play some. I'm talking about the opening niggas. The opening niggas is not going to give us. Oh. They're not going to stay so, classic Southern. They, they have nah, to stay like, classic. They got, so, so, for Ball and, so for Ball and G, I will let y'all know that. That Devin is actually DJing, like so. Devin, Devin Steele? Yeah. Okay. 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 That's a good one. Devin, 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 get down. Devin, get down. We know what that. We know how Devin work. Okay. So, <laughs> so now we got a little bit of hope. <laughs> yeah. So now who go with UGK? Be, you know what? I don't know. Who, I don't know who's there. And let it, I don't know who's DJing for them. Um, can I? Can I give you mine. one piece of thing? You know what's undefeated in in verses, right? What's what? that? Yeah. What? That, that round always wins. When they play what? people who died, the other part, the other half of UGK is dead. People are going to automatically be on some like, it's Pimp C, it's Pimp C. I'm just being honest with you. But how fight. much? It's a whole versus. Like, <laughs> this nigga is crazy. Every, every song, <laughs> niggas go shed a tear. Every, every song, every pimp well, verse. They go to a, they go to a, a Bun B and, and Pimp C uh, tribute show. Yeah, Man. I'm just saying to get back on top. This nigga's crazy. David, <laughs> wow. I can't I'm saying David, I know. David. Okay, we know Devin gonna do it. <clears throat> I don't know who Bun DJ is, but niggas can't play nothing but. Classic Southern records. You shouldn't play no nothing else. They can't go into the Tupac set, the DMX set. They gotta be Southern the whole time. Memphis, Put a wall up. Don't let Texas, nobody in. Atlanta, you gotta be pure South. No, you no. just gotta do Memphis and Texas. That's yeah. it. Oh, you gotta Georgia. No, in Georgia. So you, I would just. I mean, you gotta do some. Like, there's a lot of there's. A oh lot shit! Of, it's J Bo. What's up, man? There, oh, she's my nigga. Um, there's a lot of some of the records that they should, they could play. Like, it's a lot of classic ass Ti records that I'll never hear people like play on verses. Mm -hmm. I'm like, damn, I wonder what people don't be respecting. Like, you know, Tip. You could play a lot of Slim, like Slim Thug shit. It's a lot of shit, man. A lot of you could go in on Memphis shit, like from. From back, I mean, even if you don't want to do like the, the the new Memphis shit, um, you it's so much classic Memphis shit that you can play with from three six to, you know, all that shit. Like, oh no, man, it's, it it is. It hey is, man, it, set up a meeting, man. Like, we have a meeting. Like, 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 let's talk what, to him. Like, I get him on the right six. path. We gotta play, Dane. We going I'm gonna tell Devin to play your girl. She got the hottest. She from Memphis. She got the hottest shit out right now. Who? No, 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 we ain't, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say that yet, but she do got the hottest, she do got the hottest shit out, though. You know, I, I think it'd be an amazing moment for Memphis if, if they did some form of a, uh, we from Memphis and we cracking right now, Set. Devin got to do all Memphis. He got to hold it down. He got to wave the flag on that shit and put a foot in their ass. That should be crazy. And then whoever come with Bun, he got to hit him with the little Kiki, with Zero, Hit him with the slim, and then if he do a screwed up set, just like a couple songs. Oh my god! Yeah, I can't. I can't see Bum B gonna be on that stage by himself. Just if nah, I was the other side, nah, and I had to he think won't. about his they set. Won't. He won't. And you be, being with a ball MJG, there's one cheat code that Bun can pull that's gonna shut down the show. What's that? If that nigga bring Andre out, nigga. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can, I can, one damn near, I'll say this. I'll say 98%, that nigga ain't going to be there. B big boy coming. One? We know big boy coming. Big boy, but yeah, not. But, what but, about this one? 
Hove? I, I doubt if he's gonna come in either. Hove not coming. Hove that that's not a winner. Nobody, I mean that's cool, but I, I don't really yeah, see that big. Yeah, the first nigga to bring Jay Z out. Jay Z ain't mean. coming. To me, I don't. When I think about when I think about Bun and A Ball, I don't think about Jay. I'm thinking about if we in Atlanta. And we got all these songs with these Atlanta niggas. Like we could bring out motherfucking uh, David Banner and do uh, all I need. Was all I need? What's the song they did to Jodeci? Yeah. Cover up. Oh, they, oh, um, you know they everything. They, all, they, gonna, they gonna do that to get? Nah, nah. It was uh, it was Ross, Banner did the beat, but it was Ross. Uh, that you're, you're everything. everything. You're everything. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So we could bring out David Banner. We could bring out Ti. We could bring out Big Boy, and then we can get Andre just to. Kick it and, off uh, when we do this. Woo! I'm going to be honest with y'all, right? This, this, So the last time I seen Dre perform, like Dre performed with the Dungeon family um, at one music fest. Dog, I swear, this, this is a true story. That nigga got off the stage. He faded into the, like, light. Like, it was like a ghost. That nigga was like, all right, y'all got this last one for me. I'm gone. And the nigga just disappeared like a ghost. I was like, where'd the nigga go? I ain't never <laughs> seen that nigga on the stage this year. So do, do y'all do y'all even think about the Bun D cheat codes or do y'all just focus on your own stuff? Nah, Bun got cheat codes, but I mean, like, you got, you know, the Slim Thugs, Big Boys. But Ball and G got a song with Big Boy, but they probably 100% won't play that record. Um... No, I'm just saying, you know, do y'all think about it? Do y'all be like, y'all know them niggas might try to do this? You do? I mean, you know, then you also think about your cheat codes. You got did sit songs with Diddy. You also sponsoring that shit with Ciroc. So, so y'all got to pick which one y'all going for, Diddy or Mace? Y'all not Definitely getting ain't gonna be at the... <laughs> Mace come out and do play away could be kind of hard though. That's a good that's I, I'd rather go with play away than Diddy coming out for my set. But that's yeah, yeah. I think J Bo, J Bo, get up on the stage too. If I, I could would, just go up there would, and bung all that shit would, and jump on I, would, I personally would want to see play away because I just think that that song is dope. But um, I be kicking it, dish, my ball but up. you know, people be you know people be amped up. They want to see Diddy. Mm. I, I'm pretty. I'm, I'm pretty sure you want. What's Diddy. the uh? Oh, what's my other one? What's the one? You just don't want what? Was that? Be a be. Ball was on a song with John. I think he was on that. What do you know? He wasn't on be a be. That's Luda Short and China. Wow. Oh, he the got song, a song. He got a song with John. The songs he got with like the songs he got with John. He got they on they both on rep your city. Yes. Um. They both on rep your city. So I think that, you know, there are a lot of songs they did together. So Rep Your City, Look at the Grills with Tist Twister and uh and Tip. Um they got Can't Stop This Pimping with Lil John and Short. They are a few records <laughs> with John. And this is gonna be in Atlanta? Mm-hmm. J Bo, so who 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 does Atlanta waiver tours? Who who J Bo being a uh Atlanta official? Who, who who do Atlanta do Atlanta lean towards UGK or, or more A-Ball and MJG? I'll say I'll say this. Living in Atlanta, and if you go to the club, outside of international players, they ain't really playing no like it the only two UGK like feature songs that they really play that still get played outside of international players is uh um Trap or Die, but they never even let uh Bun mm -hmm. verse play. Mm. But, but they still play, but Show enough. And <laughs> Joe show said, enough. <laughs> J Bo said, boom, fuck oh, it. <laughs> yeah, but show enough and uh, lay it down and, and drama, they still kind of play those songs. So I don't what know, but we don't base it like that. Because, I mean, at one point, A Ball had to be featured on everybody's shit. It was like the three year run where you had to get A Ball on shit. And I just think he's not going to be up there by himself. He might get the Jeezy's, the side. I don't know. Woo! Listen, it, it it's gonna be a lot of they gonna have a it's it's they gonna have a lot of features like on both sides. I think Bun will probably have um more features like than Ball and G. Um because he just he done at, at at sudden at one point they were just they just did they were more politically correct than Ball and G. Ball and G was like, 
nigga, we've been pushing this shit since curls and niggas wasn't fucking with us, so we ain't fucking with them. So at one point, like, they was just like, we fucking with the people that fuck with us. So they didn't never, you know what I mean? They got to a point where, like, if you weren't rocking with us at first, we just not gonna do it. Um, and Bun, you know, being Bun, like, Bun is a really, like, cool, like, personable dude. So they did it. He did a lot of records with a lot of people. So it ain't, I don't, this ain't, this ain't one of them things. This is like a 40 and short battle. It ain't, you not gonna, you can't, there ain't no winner. All right, but I think Vine, 40 and short, and Pope made sure of that. Because we are, we all work together. Bay, mm. We was all, niggas was picking who was gonna win. You know what I mean? Yo, so Vaughn, so I mm. just found, so today I found, I just found out how verses do it. You can't just go into your whole catalog. Like you got to get now you got to get them songs, and then they got to make sure they clear for you to like. They got to be clear for you to actually do them. Now, really? Still, yeah. You know, nah, we didn't do that. Did y'all did y'all do um? They got the deal, or was it before the deal? It must have been before because when you got when we got the twenty, and we asked we asked short we was like are you are you ain't gonna do the dope thing B? He was like, eh, I don't know, man, man, man. We was like, this nigga being sneaky. So we got a bunch of records we were sitting on in case he dropped the dope thing B. And when the nigga dropped it, those last like ten records at the end, oh no, nigga, we was going at it. We was like, nah, you slick nigga. <laughs> he was playing them, we was playing them going back and forth. So we didn't clear, we couldn't have cleared none of that. Yeah, I didn't. I I know like so both of them. You kind of in conjunction. I think the only people that did verses that really was a battle that wasn't cool was like Bone and. Them niggas, you can tell them niggas they work together. Like <laughs> that shit was crazy. Um, I don't know. It's gonna be like if you like if you from the Midwest or the South or you just appreciate state music. You gonna you gonna enjoy like them because they gonna, oh, gonna wait, see the verses is this love. Thursday. That's yes, it's saying. going down yeah, Thursday, yeah, May twenty sixth at five p.m. West Coast time. Thursday, oh. nigga. They talk. It says Memorial Day weekend, and they yeah, said Thursday. Saying, the weekend the is Friday <laughs> through Sunday. What that's is they what trying saying. to pull? That's what I was saying. They give them niggas no time. They like figure it out. Crazy. That's, that's like, when the, hey, you know what? That's when the South got to come together and show niggas like, like hey, y'all want to y'all want to discount us? We gonna we gonna show y'all these numbers. Second, the second, like down South when they had right. Uh, they besides, had DJ besides DJ. uh, oh, they did it, Magic City. Is this a live crowd? Yep. Can they have y'all yeah, announce yeah. where it's gonna be at? So what is it for free? Huh? It's gonna be free? Like when y'all just gonna tell people to pull up? Motel, stop promoting, nigga. Where yeah, it? help nah, out, nigga. Man, shit. I can't. I can't announce where it is. It's not yeah. tickets for sale. How it's gonna sell out? Y'all niggas got three days to sell them goddamn tickets. <laughs> there you go. That shit already. Be, eyes, right. Right. Fuck around, you want to? It's gonna be Motown yeah, in the crowd by himself with some uh, eight ball shorts on. It's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be packed, but it ain't. It ain't, it ain't that a. We like, got eyes at the Waffle House, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like we a tabernacle eyes. or no shit. It's it's not a tabernacle. It's just, you know, it's got gonna be maybe six, seven hundo. Text it to me, nigga. I don't got no. I ain't got no. I, yeah, I said it. It's only gonna be like six, six hundred people in Atlanta. This in Atlanta. That's like the mecca. Why they can't do big? Like, nigga, you should, I don't know. I yeah. guess they ain't trying you, to pay for them coat. They ain't trying to pay for them fucking COVID tests or whatever they trying. To do. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, yo. After, yeah, after the, I don't know what you gonna be doing. You'll be partying and shit. But I'm gonna need you to come give us a uh, after. Post. Listen. A, I'm actually, a post the interview. Shit is, I'm not gonna go. I'm gonna watch it online. Why would you not go? I'm 
This nigga ain't got Hollywood, Dave. This nigga went Hollywood. I can't be on the turntables, nigga. I ain't going up there. I want, man. I want to sit back in it. See, no, we need, right. we need you. We, we need the nigga. We watching it from the internet. We need the live. Yeah, you need to be there. You know what I'm saying? I want to appreciate that shit from a distance, man. I can't look at that shit. Okay, go, go see the audience, nigga. Don't go be on. You ain't gotta be on stage. Niggas be talking to you and shit. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Hey, Motown, I want to ask you some shit. My nigga, you hear my song? The song? You playing drama. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I, I, I'm on the, I, I'm probably going to go, but. Hey, Motown going to be like uh, fucking five heartbeats. If they didn't fuck up one time, that's my song. <laughs> that's my song. <laughs> they know how it's supposed to go. He didn't play it from the beginning. I can't do this no more. I can't do this no more. <laughs> they gonna see Motown just run up on the stage. You never do it like Karen. I would do it like Karen's one and PM Dawn. <laughs> hey, I, oh, I want to go just for that. Let's see Motown on the side. Oh, hell no. Devin, you know better than that. Devin, Devin is flipping off. Nigga, I play it like I want to play it, nigga. What's that? What's that? Hey, nigga? Buddy, did this nigga play the Queen version? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Listen, man. You can always tell, like, uh, this is telltale sign if somebody fucking up or if somebody messing up if I get mad. If you hear me say cuz, you know I'm irritated. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, Motown keep cuz and he upset. Something going wrong. Like man, I can hear somebody in the background saying "cuz." Like, what is going on? Man? Well, Motel, Mo I'm happy for you. You you got your verses. You've been checking got it, before. man. You did it. Congratulations. So, it's gonna be a win no matter what. I'm I'm proud. I need of another. You. Listen, I need another W though. While we here, I'm gonna put him on the spot. Can can come on, man? Can we commit? To the show, can we get you know, man? I'm, can I'm, you sign I'm, up I'm, for I'm, the, you the president, man? Hey, man can y'all handle y'all business for the no one fun. music fest later? <laughs> no, I'm just saying, we I see everybody this weekend. It's first thing on my list, bro. I see everybody this weekend, bro. <laughs> we gonna get Vaughn to come. We won't, hey, Vaughn, you gotta come down. Y'all gotta, like you said about the verse, nigga, if I can't DJ, <laughs> nigga, I ain't going. <laughs> see how I do them, Dave? Now you see how that, I feel. Hey. Nigga, if I ain't playing no record, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You, bro, you, we already know how you get in. You, you get irritated on the turntables. You will start unplugging shit. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I thought the DJ ain't no sound and shit. Promoter get nervous and shit. Like, <laughs> I'm out this bitch. Y'all can have this shit. Y'all gonna talk to yourself. Y'all better know how to hum in this motherfucker. I'm out. <laughs> I've gone full diva at concerts, nigga. Walked out. Nigga, I'm gonna hey, open the fuck this place. Hey, the funny shit is you do that shit like you get the crowd I right, and at the at the height of that shit. You like, what's your what's my favorite word? And you just close that laptop. Nigga <laughs> 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 just, just close that laptop. Hey, laptop walk shit, off. Like, Dragging damn. my cords and shit. All right, man. We're gonna check in with it again. Right, Don't wait, forget to go down Thursday, five o'clock. Shout out to J Bo. I was a jam for the Young Bloods. When I first moved to Atlanta, I seen him at the movie theater in Congress. So he was like my first artist that I seen. Like Atlanta is real, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah. Hey, Dane, I just found nigga, I did not know till last week that you actually lived here. I didn't know you went to nigga, school here. Shit, that I nigga went to an online black HBCU, bro. It was right. online. Clark Atlanta don't have an online class. He man. went to I online see. Clark, nigga. That nigga didn't live there. Thank you for proving my point to this nigga. You he know, went to an online HBCU, hey, bro. Look, I was talking about Larry June. It was like, you know, Larry June grew up in Atlanta. I'm like, nigga, Larry June from the Bay. They was like, nah, he used to live here. The nigga's like, Dame, too. I'm like, wait, not the homeboy, Dame. I was like, nigga, Dame went to school here. I was like, Dame. Oh, 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 five, oh, no. He was like, online, oh. nigga. He was online. Don't believe that nigga. I got, hey, listen, I got my degree to prove this nigga wrong. I was with that nigga when he printed out his diploma, nigga. I ain't even fooled with this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out the dough, man. We done. <laughs>